morning ty with a and l rv sales in jackson tennessee i want to look at a cougar today this is a 2023 22 rbs if anybody knows anything about these trailers already you're going to know that this is a fifth wheel amenity styled travel trailer just reduced down to match that chassis let's get in it okay so again keystone cougar travel trailer this is a 2023 Cougar 22 RBS we're coming in at a dry weight around 5,620 pounds our length 25 feet 11 inches this thing has a great profile I love the simple lines on this and this really does have all of our fifth wheel items just reduced down to a smaller format that's a little bit easier to tow and handle for a lot of people especially if you don't have the setup or want the setup in the bed of a truck so let's get started right at the outside fiberglass front cap that is an automotive windshield too heavy tent a lot of privacy on the inside a good amount of road clearance as well we're gonna have slam latches covered hinges throughout we're gonna have motion lights on the inside of our bypass as well as the interior you can see that aluminum structure is fully finished off our in command system up front this unit is gonna be fully underbelly insulated and heated we're gonna have upgraded 30 pound tanks another thing you're gonna see with the 2022s notice that lock because we have a lithium battery pre-installed LEDs up front and then our side connections for our water and black tank flush texture side wall on our slides that is to help with our slide seals come out every manufacturer does a little bit different here but we have a racking pinion on this particular one Traditional windows, center slide. The only thing I'm always leery about with these slides like this is that cutout. We're gonna make sure that we keep an eye on that for our wheel wells. Double axle. Clean out at the back. Furnace in the side wall, but look how low profile that is. Not intrusive at all. The rest of our connections are here at the corner and we do have a ladder for a walkable roof and a full bumper LED lights around full-size spare and backup camera prep coming around to the campsite which is the side that really matters we're gonna have a hot water heater offset from the awning that awning runs nearly the full length LED strip underneath see that upgraded stable stair nothing floating here but a really clean clean campsite considering they put up everything out of the way so speakers vents things like that are up and out of the way we do have a connection location for a tv and that's going to be a key tv keystone specific and then our coleman AC at the top. Now notice that's white now. Most of them are going to be going to that. We do have solar on top. Anything Keystone now is going to have at least 200 watts pre-installed, easily upgradable to 400 if it's needed. And again, this is fully insulated because our construction underneath is block foam. All right, let's move on inside. Cougar 22 RBS. Let them install solar already on top. Let's get inside. There's stuff that really, really matters. This unique layout. So set up for couples, which is pretty obvious. We're not gonna be able to sleep a plus one here because we have theater seats. This layout otherwise is amazing. We call that counter space. 
right off the bat, our in command system is in place. You're gonna be able to control your HVAC, your lights, your awning, your slides, all from that system, and you can Bluetooth connect that system as well. So theater seats on the slide, no carpet, marine grade fabric is used. Our kitchen, slight diagonal kick out, but that's a residential style stainless steel sink. Pull down on your handle. We have front, wood faced cabinet doors, and a three burner stove. This one has a nice finish to it. Microwave above, cabinetry around. Our AC is going to be Keystone's setup where you have a 12 inch pleated filter so that pops right out as well as their diffusers and all the interconnected plastic components that they use in the trunk lines of this AC too so you don't have the failures down the road that you would normally see. Good amount of counter space overall and a little bit of a raised bar. There's enough room here that technically you could put a tall bar stool, but at the very least you have a place for coffee makers, ninjas, other small appliances that you can take with you. 12 volt Furon fridge is opposite that kitchen. Larger of the styles. Thankfully we have that lithium battery installed, so let's see how this thing looks with the light on. 12 volts are definitely an upgrade. You're gonna see more and more of that as a standard feature in all campers going forward. Easier on everyone. Right at the front door, we do have a good amount of storage. Again, wooden front faces, metal hardware, and this can be utilized as a wardrobe space and or any other type of breakdown storage. With the depth here, easily put additional dividers in or keep most of your items that are more say seasonal that you don't need all the time toward the back but it's nice and tucked out of the way we're gonna have roller shades with side balances and this particular one just like you would with a fifth wheel you're gonna have a dimmer for the lights over knee or excuse me over your theater seat so if you're watching something at night you want a little bit of reading light but not a lot that's your option for dimming privacy curtain around this king size bed over that vaulted ceiling nice finished vaulted ceiling right next to our swing mount larger TV it's kind of hard to tell exactly how large this is but we're looking 40 plus inches on that swing mount. Wardrobe space left and right and above. And we do have another roller shade in that front automotive glass insert. We're going to have storage under the bed. Everything's nicely finished. And then floor vent heat coming back. Our back bath is going to be in the corner diagonal, single door to entry, and a good amount of space. You immediately you can see the leg room in this, and they did a really good job of going ahead and making sure you had some linen storage, your medicine cabinet, and then your undermount storage. There's enough room around this too that you can get creative with a few other ideas. Radial shower. In this case, it's a two piece, so less seams. Nice marble finish, glass sliding doors, and that nice wand with a skylight. The only thing we would really want to upgrade would be our vent. At this point, I think all of them need to be standard eight inches, regardless of the size of the unit. But with it not being next to the bed, the bathroom that is you can get a little bit of privacy at night if you have a couple in here 
to be able to get up and go. And even in the mornings, take that cup of coffee, be able to slip out the back door without making too much of a disturbance. So one more shot from the bed going back. And again, this is a 22 RBS. Not meant to be a large unit, but they have everything in this that you're gonna need. And all your finishes and upgrades are what the Cougar fifth wheels are gonna be. So it's hard to pass this up. Really amazing unit, really amazing unit. There's our Cougar 2023 22 RBS. Obviously it didn't take me long to go around this outside or the exterior only because they did such a great job of putting everything that needs to be here without it being over the top. That makes sense to me in that you get a couple, two people going. You don't have kids to contend with, so you don't have a bunk room. You don't have your outdoor kitchen, but everything's out of the way and clean and crisp. The setup's going to be really, really quick. You can be gone quickly, you can be set up quickly, you can be broken back down to come back home very quickly. So a unit like this is awesome for that. You get the extra construction, you get this fiberglass front cap, you get all these things that are standard, just like a Cougar fifth wheel would be. So less maintenance, less worry for you later. And then on that inside, you get that great updated decor, king bed, radio larger shower, all kinds of extras. So let me know what you guys think on this one. Let me know what you think about the Cougars in general. Give me a like, give me a subscribe. Thanks for watching.